now in their studio talking to Mr. Sonam Vangchuk, who's won the Rolex Award for uh, Enterprise 2016. He's also uh, a pioneer in his own uh, field. He's built uh, artificial glaciers, which are now being known as ice stupas. Uh, he's going to tell us what it takes for an entrepreneur to fight against the tide and follow his dreams. Hello, Mr. Vangchuk. Hi. Yeah. Um, well, I think uh, one has to be driven by this uh, desire to solve problems that people have. Uh, whether it is for money or not is secondary and money comes later. Right. And in my case, it's not about money. It's right. basically about solving people's problems. In our case, it was, you know, water scarcity is because of because it is a desert anyway, on top of that climate change and fast melting glaciers means that there is erratic water supply. Right. So using ideas right. and maybe science or other innovative ways to solve this problem. So ice troopers are about saving the water that is not used in winter when there is no farming right. in the form of ice mountains or cones right. that look like stupas. Right. To, to use them when they melt in the spring and uh, that way you can solve the problem of spring water shortage when real glaciers don't melt but then it is also about creatively branding it as something that people can relate to right. stupa right. otherwise it's an invention that only a scientist could love right. it has to be owned by the people so using every uh, way to make it uh, sell. And what sort of uh, challenges did you see? Uh, this is an innovative concept, it's something that has uh, not been done worldwide. What sort of challenges did you really face? Did they deter you from really realizing your dream? Well, uh, the main challenge is that it's just a new field. There is hardly any experience we can learn from. There are no books we can read, there are no people who we can go to learn from. It's an untrodden path. So therefore you have to make every little part, component of the mechanism yourself with hammers, with uh, you know, crude ways. Right. Tomorrow when there is more focus on this, when there is more money in this, there will be people who will specialize and make better things. But this is just so new to freeze water in winters in large amounts and things. So, that's our main challenge. Apart from that, smaller challenges are that you are working in minus 20 to minus 30 degrees at midnight, at uh, early morning. Right. Those are much smaller than the fact that it's an untrodden path and you have to build, you have to make your road as you walk along. I see, I see. You know, Mr. Vangtuk, you've become a pioneer in yourself. Uh, what do you have to say to uh, budding entrepreneurs of today? What do you think uh, must an entrepreneur really possess in terms of virtues to really go out there and walk the extra mile? I feel entrepreneur should not be entrepreneur because it's the fashion, because it's this person is doing that person. You have to have the burning, you know, fire to solve some problem, to something that keeps you awake at night, actually. And then you're ready to take risks and not just risks calculated risk. Minimize the risk as, as much as you can by, you know, rehearsing in your mind what are likely to be the outcomes. Intelligent risks, not foolhardy, uh, you know, mess that you might make and deter other people also from taking. So, uh, very cleverly, mm, deeply engaged and then calculated risk-taking ability and then perseverance to follow no matter who says what and no matter if it fails once or twice or thrice right. as long as it believes that it is the answer. Right, right. And uh, are you training any youngsters uh, to uh, work uh, towards the course that you are working for? Yes, that's the whole story about each of my work. I, I almost don't start something unless I have some young people to do with me because very soon then they take over and I can move to the next idea again with a group of youngsters who can then take it over and I can move to the next. So it is important for the young to own and carry it forward better than maybe I started. Right. 
and it is important for me also to be able to hand over in safe hands and then start finding other problems to solve. Sure, sure. So what, what do you see in youngsters, you know, uh, tell me something that you see in Indian youngsters uh, that, that, uh, that makes you believe that they are the future of tomorrow and they will steer this wheel uh, very well. Mm, yeah, that they are most of the time very interested. They may not have the wherewithal uh, at the beginning, but as you groom them and help them grow, they are sincere and take the challenges, especially in Ladakh. Our young people are very, uh, you know, fearless about extreme conditions. Like I said, if these are polar conditions, yeah, minus 30, minus 20, they work through and take it as a challenge and adventure and that's what I think, not adventure, not just in physical challenges but also in the spirit of uh, the challenge and, you know, persevering through thick and thin. That was Mr. Wang Trup for us. Uh, tune in to entrepreneur.com for this entire interview.